So Saturday, July 21st, we're having a big subscriber meet uh, where everyone's gonna bring out their go-karts and mini bikes. We're gonna do some trail riding and some drag racing. We're planning on bringing a bunch of stuff, including the rail, uh, the CT70s and the Trail Master, but we figured we would need some backup vehicles because honestly our stuff breaks all the time and just the train out there is very hard on it in yes. all honesty. Yes. So we have these two red uh, Coleman CT200Us that Ike bought used for like 150 bucks a piece last year and we figured they would make for great backup vehicles. We're gonna fire them up, ride them around and make some modifications to them to uh, make them a little peppier. I'm willing to bet that whoever owned this one last, they dumped it over because there's a chunk missing from the, uh, the handle grip there and the uh, brake Probably broke the handle. It's also it's gone. We have a bolt missing from this front luggage rack. Uh, we have some bolts out of the sprocket. We have no rear chain. Just kind of weird. That one's been ridden hard, dude. Yeah, it probably has. Yeah. Uh, look at the tires. There's plenty of wear on those tires. But then look at mine. Yeah, they still have the little knobbies on them. We have two bikes here. One of them we're leaving completely stock. And the other one we're adding a torque converter for better takeoff. Uh, performance kit for the engine. And we, we are removing the governor for more RPMs. We're using CT200 kits available from gopowersports.com, including the torque converter kit and the Coleman performance kit. There are links in the description of this video to take you to the right page. And with our code CC10, you can get 10% off. The nice thing about their torque converter kit is that it actually comes with engine risers. So I'm sure you guys remember from a couple years ago when we had to stack a wooden block underneath the engine <laughs> on a mini bike to get a 212 to fit with a torque converter. No more of that. like garbage there's a chance someone had it on its side yeah that's true filled up the muffler with oil yep oh it does mm, have oil, oil in there. there yep all right looks sure like it does. was dumped yep it cleared right up Someone, someone dumped this over on its side and it filled up the air filter. Hmm. So since we could have a damaged engine on this CT200, we're gonna modify the one that already works perfectly well, which we probably should have started with that anyway. And we'll just take the good parts from this one and put it on this one as we take them off and- Modify. Modify it. So, yep. Uh, I, think, I think between the two, we're gonna make some magic happen. I think so. Yeah. All right, let's get started. So I've got the four bolts to the engine plate unbolted move it over to this one side to give me more room for the throttle Check out the, uh, the cam, cam wheel. Is this the first one we've gotten that was plastic? Bada yeah. bing, bada boom. So now that the governor's removed, it's time to get started installing our torque converter kit here. Now, just wanna say that removing the governor is not at all necessary when you're doing these kind of modifications, but the engine will flow a lot better, especially with the performance kit with the increased RPM. It's not for everybody, but it is a good way to get uh, more performance for your small engine. Now we have a one spacer and we have a two spacers. Looks like you need to go up from underneath with the bolts. Next thing we're gonna install is this torque converter. With your kit comes a bag of bolts. These bolts bolt the torque converter onto your engine. Oh, we gotta cut that off.
So our torque converter backplate and rear pulley are bolted onto the engine. And at this point, we need to point out an important difference between uh, newer CT200s and older ones. This is an older model and it uses an engine with a three quarter inch output shaft. If you have an older one like us with a three quarter inch output shaft, you're gonna need to order a different torque converter and the engine spacers separately. So there are links to those in the description too. Let's show people how to measure uh, the output shaft because we get a lot of questions on Facebook and Instagram about stuff like that. So all you do is just take your clutch off your engine, put a tape measure to the end of the output shaft as you can clearly see. Ah, it's a three quarter inch. The newer ones are five eighths inch and that's what comes in the, uh, the CT200 performance kit. Uh, but we have a separate torque converter with a three quarter inch pulley to install here. Uh, these belts have a flat side on one side and you turn it over and it's tapered right there. Uh, this pulley has a flat side on this side and then the other piece that I'm gonna be installing has the tapered piece on it, as you can see. So you wanna make sure the belt is on correctly. Otherwise, you're gonna be going through belts like no tomorrow. Add it. Two to five. It's so cl No way! Dude, we can totally do it. It's, it can move back a little more. One, we don't even have to shorten it or lengthen it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what you got for the throttle return. What do you have? Oh, I see. Just a spring from the front cover to this linkage here. Yep. The governor. Okay. Rock, Rock paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot! That's me, dude! Did you get to the top speed? No, I didn't. 35.5. I mean, I know you'll go faster. He's moving on that little thing. Hey, you got 40? Yes! That's not bad. I uh, really need some uh, performance. Yeah, we need to oh. let it breathe. So our torque converter conversion is complete. It's performing really, really well, much better than the clutch. As you can see, it does little wheelies off the line. But now that we have the bottom end grunt, it's time to add the high end power. So it's time to install the performance kit. We need to start by taking the muffler off. Maybe a little bit of finagling. Look hey, at that. Look at that, man. hey! All right, so the kit comes with a nice new exhaust gasket. Make sure the flange sealing surface is clean, free of debris. You talking to me or the people? The people. Maybe both. Is ours clean and free of debris? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. And there's the header. So now it's time for the air filter, the air filter adapter, and the jet. We've done this before on this channel, but this first time doing it on a 196 on a CT200. So two 10 millimeter nuts just like a Predator 212. So this is our air filter adapter. It's nice and engraved here. Uh, it also has a choke lever um, or a choke bracket. It holds the choke down because if you're not, if you don't have one, your choke will pop off wherever you're riding. So that was something I learned in my early days of go-karting. That you need one of the uh, choke adapters. There is a jet, fuel jet inside that carburetor and you can access it from underneath without taking the carburetor off air filter i didn't put a gasket in there dude <laughs> Woo! don't forget your adapter gasket guys there we go
sure. Seriously? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Let me try. Yo, are you okay? I hope you got that. Yeah, are you okay, man? Yeah, I'm good. Jeez. Well. <laughs> well. <laughs> What's the verdict? Hey, man, that's probably the first time you've ever done that. Out of all our mini bikes, this is the one you dump over. 42.5. Oh. I mean, we picked up two and a half miles an hour, and that doesn't account for gains in the other parts of the power band. It'll dump you off like it just did. Yeah. We got our parts bike going. We just had to uh, tighten the sprocket up, add a chain, add a brake handle, uh, switched over the air filters, and a couple other little things here and there. So we're gonna do the Cars and Cameras Grand Prix with both bikes at the same time. I think that's all we need to know about the torque converter swap on the uh, CT200. Yep. She'll engage, buddy. Oh, yeah. And you can carry a wheelie with it, too. Uh, yeah, but it you gotta wants be to be really carry. skilled. Yeah. It uh, wants to dump you over, honestly. It really wants to. Um, which, honestly, I'm not good at wheelies, period. <laughs> So after riding both of these bikes around, Ike and I both agree that the only time we can really recommend a stock bike is to inexperienced riders or, or people who like don't want to go fast, which I think they exist, I don't know. Um, I mean, obviously you have insane acceleration from the torque converter. I mean, we learned that years ago when we put that on my nine reasons to buy an old go-kart go-kart, but in a mini bike, it'll dump you off the back and it'll also carry a wheelie. So you need to be good with your throttle modulation. A couple things we didn't think about that like as we were riding around we found out is that the torque converter acts as an engine brake when you're going down hills so you know when you have like a clutch or something and you're going down a long hill you need to use your brake you could overheat it that is not the case with a torque converter you just kind of crack the throttle to where you want it and it'll slow down as you as you, you modulate the throttle and finally if you're going to be doing a lot of putting around the torque converter is also a better bet because the clutch will stay kind of half engaged at low speeds and you'll overheat it and ruin it so that was our CT200 torque converter install and performance kit install. We've been meaning to do this video for a long time. And I think it's obvious that the modified bike is better. Huge surprise, right? <laughs> Huge surprise. Um, anyway, you can find these kits at gopowersports.com at our links in the description. The uh, torque converter kit is usually $179, I believe. You can get 10% off with CC10. Same with the performance kit. It's $78, but you can get 10% off with our discount code CC10. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. Check me out at Isaac. It'll be fine. And come to our meet at Busco Beach, July 21st. 2018 at 10 a.m. That's when people are going to be rolling in. We got drag racing and trail ride on the agenda. We're also going to be having some lunch and just hanging out as well. We're going to bring these bikes. We're planning on bringing the rail, uh, the CT70s, the Trailmaster, 
probably more things. I don't know how we're going to carry all of them, honestly. Car trailer. Yeah, a car, tra truck. car trailer. And we're also going to be bringing our Subaru-powered Yerf Dog. Yerf Dog! Thank you. Uh, anyway, yeah, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and press the bell to receive notifications from us. And if you enjoyed this video today, press that thumbs up button. It helps this video get seen by more people. Anyway, uh, support the channel by picking up some merchandise at cars-cameras.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. You know we couldn't end the video without a burnout. Do it! Ooh,